Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create the iOS home app icon in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into it. You can see on screen, I have a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high and a lovely pixelated version of the iOS home icon. And we're going to be redrawing this as a beautiful, crisp, clean vector. So the first thing we're going to do is add all of the colors that make up this image to our swatches panel. And we can do that by using the eyedropper tool and just clicking to sample a color. And once it's active in the color picker, just click new swatch from the bottom of the swatch panel, tick global, click OK, and it adds that as a new swatch. So we can just do that for all five swatches and then you're good to go. So we're going to start with by just using black to create the shapes and where the rectangle tool is, you can left click and hold to select the polygon tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and create a shape or a polygon with five sides and click OK. And we're just going to move this into position and hold shift and left click to scale this up. So we'll go for the height first. And we can use the direct selection tool to just click anywhere to deselect that. And we can then left click on this bottom left anchor point hold shift and left click on this anchor point over here and then from the alignment options at the top or the align panel on the right we can then align these to the left and it will snap those two anchor points in line and we can do the same left click hold shift left click and align those to the right so that's a really great way to just check the anchor points are all lined up and we can then just drag this in so we're just really going for the outside of the house at the moment, just to check that's all good. And let's scale this up. And then again, I'm just going to use a direct selection tool and just drag that down holding shift so it stays nice and central. So we're just creating that main pentagon shape. Now once I've done that, what I can do is just click the original image, hold shift, and use the right arrow key to just shuffle that out of the way for now. Now what I'm going to do is select the shape that I've created here and I'm just going to pick the outside color and I can go to object, path and offset path and tick the preview box and if I set this to a minus it will create a new copy of this shape offset minus 40 pixels now you depending on the size of your document and your image you might need to experiment with this number minus 40 seems to be around the right size and click OK but the thing to remember is if you go positive 40 it will create this on the outside and negative it will create it on the inside so we'll click OK and I can just click the next swatch along and this is the really easy part we can just repeat this step it remembers the same value I just pick the next swatch along. So object path, offset path, click OK, pick the next swatch. So once you get this right at the very beginning, it makes it very easy to just add all of the colors. So you can round off the corners at the beginning, but one of the problems you might find is that the radius of the corners actually scale up or down as well. So as you create more and more shapes the radius will either get smaller or larger uh, and you know by doing it this way what it means we can do is select the central shape click the direct selection tool and at the top here you'll see corners we can type in 12 and we can do the same for all of these shapes so rather than worrying about the corners scaling up or down by doing them at the beginning we can leave those till this step and just do them all at once so they're all going to be 12. So to do that just select a shape with the main selection tool then click the direct selection tool and then you get this option at the top for corners. Now we're going to go and create the roof so we can select the polygon tool again left click and this time enter 3 as the number of sides and click OK and we're going to just manually drag this and skew this around and we're just going to give this same color as the outside line this up yeah, there we go something like that make sure it's nice and central and again we can just select the direct selection tool and from the 
option at the top to adjust the corner radius just type in 12 and press return and at the moment it's on top of everything so we can go object arrange and send backwards make a note of this shortcut here and we can just continuously press that to send it all the way to the back great looking good and lastly we're going to select the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle here you can see those smart guides help line everything up and you can turn those on here if you like it makes creating shapes and icons considerably easier and we're just going to pick that same orange and again it's on top but we can just go and send that behind with that shortcut and again just select the direct selection tool and we'll give that the same radius or maybe slightly less let's go for eight and there we go we've pretty much created the home icon now what we're going to do to tidy up is if we go into outline mode command or control y you'll see we've got lots of shapes and it's a bit messy so if we just drag over this top area here so this is the outside of the house the triangle roof and the rectangular chimney with all of those selected go to the pathfinder panel on the right if you don't see it you can find that up here on the window menu and we're going to select unite and it will combine all of these into one shape so a little, little bit of housekeeping and a lot cleaner and we can then select everything making sure that we actually get rid of this original image so let's just hit delete or backspace drag over everything and we can scale this up or down holding shift but you'll see as it scales down it remembers that same radius so actually it's rounded off the corners it looks a lot more because we've scaled the image down so if you do round off the corners using the method shown in this tutorial one way that I found to get around this is to select each shape individually and just unite it on its own so you can see I'm just going through each shape and with it individually selected just uniting it on its own and then we can go and drag over everything go to object group and once you've done that process of just uniting each shape on its own you can scale it down and you don't have to worry about the radius or anything changing so we've got the actual icon itself we've done the hard bit now it's the easy bit we're going to create the app icon so with the rectangle tool selected we can just left click and create a square with a width and height of 400 pixels and we'll pop this in the middle and because this is a white app icon we're also going to create a background just so it's visible and we'll just drag that you'll see those smart guides nicely snap everything in place and we'll send the background the big orange background all the way to the back and we'll just give this a very light gray color go object lock selection so the background is now locked we can't accidentally select it by mistake and the app icon itself we can set the fill color to white and then just drag these corners in to round those off so you can drag manually and you can see the radius here adjusting in real time and then we could go and round this up to a nice clean 70 at the top of the screen and I can now bring this in make sure that this is at the front and then hold shift and alt and left click to scale down from one of the corners and then position this centrally within the white app icon and then we're done and there we go that's how to create the ios home app icon in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time